Hi everyone, it's Miss McNamara here. Today's storybook is called The Great Big Book of Families by Mary Hoffman and Roz Asquith. It's one of my most favourite books because the illustrations are wonderful. I've tried to go slowly so that you can really look at them carefully. Enjoy it. See if you can find your family in this book. I love it because it's celebrating all the different families in our world. I hope you enjoy it, everyone. Once upon a time, most families in books looked like this. One daddy, one mummy, one little boy, one little girl, one dog and one cat. But in real life, families come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. In this book are a lot of families living in different ways. Perhaps there's one that looks like yours. Families. Lots of children live with their mummy and daddy, but lots of others live with just their daddy or just their mummy. Some live with their grandma and grandpa. Some children have two mummies or two daddies. And some are adopted or fostered. Who's in your family? Some people have lots of brothers and sisters and uncles and aunties. And cousins and grandmas and grandpas and even great grandmas and great grandpas. But some people have really small families you can be a family with just two people. Homes. People live in all sorts of homes. Some small families live in the big houses and some big families live in tiny flats. And some people can't find anywhere to live. School. Most children go to school, but some are taught at home. And some just won't go to school. Others are too young to go to school. But I've been to school already. I went yesterday. Jobs. In some families, everyone has a job. In others, only one person goes out to work. Some parents work from home. And some can't get a job at all. Holidays. Some families go on exotic holidays and some stay closer to home. Some visit families in other countries. You don't need to pack everything. And others go on day trips. Not all families can afford a holiday, but most people get some time off from work. Even a weekend at home can be a little holiday. Food! Yum yum! Let's first look at the fantastic illustrations here. Brilliant. Some mums or dads are great cooks. Others prefer to buy ready-made meals. Most families get their food from shops or markets but some people grow their own food. Looks just like our allotment at school. <laughs> clothes. Some children get new clothes. Others have hand-me-downs. Or their clothes come from charity shops. Are you an elf? No, a sock.
Some families dress up for, for special occasions. But some like to wear jeans all the time. And some dress any way they please. Pets. Some people believe their pets are members of their family. And some pets think they're very important family members. Some people even look like their pets. Some families can't have pets, but it doesn't stop them dreaming. And there are ways that every family can have a pet of some sort. Celebrations! Birthdays are fun, but some families make more fuss about them than others. And then there is Christmas, Diwali, Eid, Hanukkah, weddings, christenings, bar and bat mitzvahs, Chinese New Year. Whatever you celebrate in your family, there are usually some special traditions. What are we celebrating? Everything! Hobbies! In some families, everyone has the same hobby. In others, everyone likes doing different things. Transport. Some families walk everywhere, to the shops, to school, to the doctor. Others get, get about in big cars, or on bicycles, or riding something else. Feelings. In some families, everyone shares their feelings. Other people are more shy, or perhaps they just like to keep their feelings to themselves. Sometimes not everyone in the family feels the same way about things. And feelings can change quickly. Have you ever tried to make a family tree? Sometimes you don't have to go back far to find bits of family who have come from other countries. And if your mum or dad lives with a new partner, you might have to make a whole new set of branches. So families can be big, small, happy, sad, rich, poor, loud, quiet, cross, good-tempered, worried or happy-go-lucky. Thank you so much everyone for listening to this story today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all managed to find um, someone in the story that reminded you of your own families. Remember to keep your families close, give them lots and lots of cuddles and kisses and high fives and laughs and smiles. 
all day long. Take care, everyone.